Yo, what's going on, sexy simulator squad? Juicebox boy here, and I am playing Hebo. And the reason, hold on, I'm switching my skin. Uh, let's go Diamond Hebo. The reason I'm playing Hebo is a little bit weird. It's a little counterintuitive, I guess, but it's because <clears throat> I think Hebo is not great anymore. I think Hebo, since season one, has kind of been put on this pedestal of this god is the best god you can pick in duel you know and and people even to this day people still agree with that which i don't think is completely wrong for the first like six seasons of the game but when se season seven came out and there were starter items uh <clears throat> hebo became a lot worse and then throughout the years of since se season seven started throughout the years they've been buffing magical items over and over and over and over again and now mages like every mage hits just as hard as hebo used to so because they hit just as hard as hebo used to there's nothing really special about him anymore like he used to just be the hardest hitting mage in the game but i i swear to god i've been hit with ymir twos that hit harder than than hebo waltz you know because all of these changes to the items make him worse and on top of that not just that but on top of those things um those a bunch of magical gods and even physical gods have gotten buffs to the point where they are just straight up better like they are they are just stronger in every way and um i think it's time that we as a community come together and respect it i don't think kibo is terrible i'm not gonna throw him down in like c tier or anything like, the dude still wins most matchups. But against any hunter or magical ADC, and even some, like, some mages that just have a lot of range, like, like, Thoth and gods like Thoth, I guess. Maybe Poseidon, he's uh, he's got really good range on his three. It's just too hard for Hebo to fight into them anymore. Now, I got lucky, I think, in this matchup because any god that still has to get close to you you know with the exception of like Bastet maybe because she can just jump in and jump out but uh, any god that has to get close to you you still kind of dumpy on so I got lucky in the matchup regard I think for this video which might make my point look a little less true I still think Kibo is like A tier but I would not ever put him in S tier until I guess never say never, but until he gets buffed or other people get nerfed or the items change or something to benefit him, it just doesn't seem like he's doing he's doing enough anymore. I don't know. I don't want to be that guy, but Ebo, I'm sorry, man. I think you're off your throne, bro. Now, like I said, in in these melee matchups, it's it's going to seem quite one-sided. And that's because it, in reality, it is. Like, Hebo doesn't lose to... to gods that have to melee him, but, um... Yeah, I don't know, man. This should be mine. I just auto it down, and whenever he comes to eat it, I knock him up. Oh man, that was greedy. That was greedy of him. And I do want to say one thing too. It, you know, I, I know some people have noticed because I've seen a couple comments about it, but nobody really bans Hebo anymore. You know, and so Hebo's open almost every game, and people don't really pick him anymore either because they know, you know, a lot of meta gods right now are very very capable of beating Kibo. hello you're gonna do my three or, or my three my you're gonna do my blue i know that it's okay that's okay i got the red buff and a kill so you getting a buff back is fine doesn't feel good but 
I'm not gonna die trying to defend it. Let's see. You know, I said this so okay, for a little context for what I'm about to say. I recorded both Chiron game and Hebo game before, but uh my mic was muted, so I have to re-record them. But I said this in my previous Hebo game that I did. Uh I think I, I basically said my top three magical items in the game. Did you die here? Oh, wow. That is not very much HP. <laughs> I said my top three magical items in the game, and they are as follows. Bancroft's Claw, number one, best item in the game. Uh, it's, a, it's a damage item that gives you more survivability than a survivability item, so it's pretty ridiculous. Um, so that's number one. I think that item is just absolutely cracked beyond belief. Number two is Warlock Staff for kind of the same reasoning. It's a damage item. That gives you 10% pen, but also gives you 250 HP and mana sustain and like 100 power or 150 power. It's a good item. Um, it's a really good item. So I think Bancroft's Claw, Warlock Staff. And then on uh, in, in third place, this might seem weird, but I think it's Soul Reaver. Soul Reaver absolutely lets you garbage on tanks. You're not eating my minion. Get away from me. Well, now eating the minion wasn't even worth it. Now, was it? It lets you absolutely dumpy on some tanks. He's just running away. I'm surprised he didn't stop by and speed clear red. If I was Baka, I definitely would have done that. But I probably would have died too because I was clearly hunting him down and he knew that. So he made the better play, I think. Uh, is your blue up? I obviously can't pick it up because I have red, but you did take mine, so it's only fair. Nice. No. No, sir. I missed. Uh oh. Oh, he didn't help me. I'm going to stay here because if he comes to clear, I'm killing him. Nope. Nope. How dare you disrespect me? You really think I'm that incompetent enough of a player that I'm going to let you walk up to me? You're going to walk up to me and you're just going to eat my minion and heal? You think I'm that bad that I'm going to miss my three? You're going to heal and then you're going to ult and kill me? Now, don't get me wrong. And all the possibilities of how that could have gone, that was one of them. If I missed my three, I died 100%. However, I'm like, I'm standing on the minions. In order to hit my three, I just look down. <laughs> it's pretty easy, you know? Let the waters rise. All right. Let's see it again. I missed. Ah! So that could have happened the first time. I have blink. I can blink three. Blink three one. Let's go. Caught him off guard with the blink. So anyways. I know that almost nobody's going to agree with me. Like I don't think anyone's going to agree that Bancroft's Claw, Warlock, Staff, and, and Soul River are the best three items in the game for mages. But you know what? Who would I be if I didn't speak my mind? Yeah. Okay. Honestly, that makes sense. He's Bakasura. I left Bakasura open for a reason. Because I knew if he played him, I would just demolish him. Um, <coughs> Excuse me. So I'll see you guys in game two of Hebo. Welcome back to game number two of Hebo. Assuming he doesn't ban him right here, that would be a little bit cringe. But I left up... I left open Bakasura again because if he plays Bakasura again, it's just going to be another free win. I mean, like I said, Hebo is really good against, uh, okay. <laughs> the 
dude, huh? Huh? Raydil? My dude, I don't know. I... I am so sorry, Raydil. I genuinely am. Not only do I feel bad, he just said LOL back. You know what? Because... Random people talk to me in duel about the Cerberus. Oh shit! That was you, Randy. <laughs> That's so funny. Holy shit. Because because I'm fighting a Terra, you know, who would have thought? I am gonna do the build that Um He said, why else are you sorry? I said you're Terra. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to do the build that is, in my opinion, the best six magical items in the game. I'm going to... um, What is it called? I'm going to go Book of Thoth into Warlock Staff. The, the two best items, you know, straight out the gate. Book of Thoth being obviously the most power you can get in a single item. And a Warlock Staff obviously giving me some percent pen out the gate. Oh, did they buff this to need five autos? Hello. I'll never be able to knock her up, huh? That's actually something I didn't think about. Ouch. Stop punching me. Ooh. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> I don't know about that one, dude. <laughs> yikers. Uh, yikers. All right. I'm going to go back. I'm going to hit my full book of thought now. And yeah, so the build is going to be this. It's going to be... Book of thought, Warlock Staff. Uh, obviously Bancroft's Claw, Polynomicon, Soul Reaver, and then... I don't know what I think the sixth best item in the game is. You know what I think? I think because Bancroft's Claw and Polynomicon are up there in my top five, I think Typhon's Claw has to follow. Like, I just think mathematically Typhon's Claw has to follow. Actually lost a lot of HP just now. Who's going book two? But could you maybe don't though? So much damage. Ow, dude, he's just beating my ass with auto attacks. He doesn't have the mana to kill me, thankfully. Nice. Catch the dub. Catch the dub. Now can I get red buff without dying is the real question. I hit the knock up while I walk away. Perfect. That's a ready. Now can I get the blue buff? I don't know. I do have enough... Uh, mana for two abilities. Ah! Oh my gosh, that was close, dude. <laughs> that was so close. <laughs> I was like two autos away from dying. Holy shit. Yo, well, I gotta admit. That Terra do be chunking. She do be. She do be dubious. I don't know. Honestly, this video, I kind of expected to catch a dub or uh, to catch an L, not catch dubs. Because I'm. Ouch. Because the whole reason I'm playing Hebo is to show off how not good he is anymore. But then I fought a Bakasur and a Terra, and now nobody believes me. <laughs> no one's going to believe that I, that I actually don't think he's that good. 
I think A tier for sure, but I don't know, man. He's too risky. He's too risky to lock in. Like, if this guy were a Poseidon or if he were a Thoth or if he were a Oleron or a Soul, like, I just wouldn't be able to fight him. Are you copying me? Raydale. Are you copying me? Those are my those are my top six items, not yours. Yeah. Ouch. Ouch. Hmm. No. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like I'm some sort of snack, okay? How dare you? Warlocks? Cringe. Oh my god. That did 500 damage. Holy shit. Look at his stun. Did 500. Ouch. Ouch. Your stun shit on me. I gotta make sure never to get hit by that thing again. I think clapped my check ace. Okay, first off, that's mine. Thank you. Hello. Hello. I'm the good old Hebo. And I'm double stacking. My damage is going to be nuts. Can I take this? I don't know. He's alive pretty soon. Or he'll be here pretty soon. He's already alive. No. Oh, God. <laughs> I think my next item is probably going to be... Bancroft's Claw. Oh! Oh! Ah! Ouch! Oh my god! <laughs> Oops. Ow. Holy comboed, Batman. I even Aegist. I have Terra alt noise still around me. Oh, it's gone now. Perfect. I was going to say, if that's there for the whole life, I might just go run into tower. <laughs> like, I might just, I might just have to end it, dude. I don't know. Whatever. At least I get blue buff again. Look at the positive. Noink. Jeez Louise. All right. Let's see if he's copying me. See if he's going booty crops right now. How is my gold equal? I mean, you're you're 400 gold down. Wouldn't really say that's equal. Okay, I guess you're 200 gold down. Still, I wouldn't really call that equal. Ah, uh, okay. Build defense, don't troll me. I am building my favorite six magical items in the game. What I consider to be the best items in this video game. That's what I'm building. I'm not trolling you. Did my ult even hit? Oh, it did. Holy shit, I hit for 530. These are my top six items in duel. Or just as a mage, not in duel. Can I have this or are you gonna... Oh, he was in range, dude. I forget that when I leave the pit, I kind of feel like... Like, when I leave the pit, I feel like the buffs don't take damage, but they, they can be in the pit too, you know? Okay, he missed everything. Thanks to my two. All right, now I go Bancroft's Claw. And I become pretty much immune to damage. Nice try. 
And then, like I said, Soul Reaver, Polynomicon, and Typhons, I think. So triple defense, double stacking, and then extra damage on top of it. Now, I don't think this is the best build in the game. But these are the best six items in the game. So there's no way it's bad, right? There's no way it's bad. I mean, obviously, items that work together better make a better build. Like, if I were to do this build, I probably wouldn't go Soul Reaver. I would probably go Obsidian Shard because I need percent pen against a Terra. But it's not about making sense. It's about making memes, okay? <laughs> it's about showing my favorite items and why they're so good. So yeah, next up, I guess it could be Polly. I don't need Soul Eater immediately. Not Soul Eater, Soul Reaver. I don't need Soul Reaver immediately. Up. Hello. I only did 200 damage. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Uh oh. Oh! Oh, God. Nope. Nope, no, 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 no. Life steal. Life steal. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I juked it. Ah! <laughs> There's a demon lady chasing me. Please help. Somebody help. No. Not like this. Nice. Oh my goodness. Oh, it is a good thing that I am so fast or else I would have died. Maybe I do want Soul Reaver right now. I'm definitely not going to be able to get this Phoenix right here. I think he'll make it to me too quick. Yeah. That's all right. I could just go Typhons, honestly. But I want to go Polly and Soul Reaver before Typhons because I feel like it's important to build the items on like the level of, of good they are, I think. If I did that, honestly, I'd put Bancroft's Claw first, but you got to build the stacking items first. That's just obvious. I will go blue buff because cooldown's my bestie because Soul Reaver. Thank you. And I guess I don't need to back. I don't hear him anywhere. Ouch. That's okay. Bro, two Soul River procs did 174 damage. Where'd he go? There he is. Found him. Never mind. Yeah. Look at that extra damage I'm doing. Look how much damage I'm doing with my Bancroft's Claw, man. Come back to me. Oh, so close. Hmm. Can I have this? I really don't think you can stop me too effectively. Yeah, my Soul River does over 100 damage per ability. There's no way you're able to sustain through that. Even with defense. I just do, I do too damn much damage. Too damn. 
Too many dams. I could go poly next item. Ah! Holy shit! Why are you here? You scared the pee poop out of me. Jeez Louise. An audible yell. How freaking dare you? Not today. Okay, I'm doing your I'm doing your speed buff. You made me pee poop. Nobody makes me pee poop. All right, obviously I can get Typhons here, but like I said, it's just a matter of principle. You know what? Staff of Meriden is a good item too, actually. Damn, Staff of Meriden is actually really good. But I don't think Staff of Meriden is better than any of the items I have right now. I will pick this up. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I have 800 and something power. Well, that's because of my passive too. Your passive gives you power, Sebo. 829 power and I'm missing an item. An item that gives me a crap ton of power. And I don't have red buff. Defense, six. No. I'm good. Look at that power spike, man. Look at that damage, dude. Oh my goodness. I have 680 or 865 damage. Okay, don't shit on me, please. Oh no! I tried to Aegis your alt proc. Damn it. Dude, her alt proc hit me for 559. I think it actually can't proc on Aegis, maybe? Because it doesn't do damage? It can? Oh. Then yeah. You're goaded. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If it can if it can proc on Aegis, he's goaded for sure. Dude, he does so much damage though. Can I have that red? Oh, I wanted that, man. Whatever, it's fine. It's fine. Not again. Oh, no. That's going to hurt. Yep, 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 yep. Ouch. No, please. I'm so scared. Okay. Now I run back this way. <laughs> okay. Nice. We made it, boys. We did it. I have finished what I consider to be the best build in Smite. Not actually. That's a troll. It's not actually the best build in Smite. It's what I consider to be the best items in this fight. For the mage. For the mage, for the mage, for the mage. I have 1,080 power without red buff or 3k pot. Which would add 40% more power. That would have hurt. My mic is glitching out. Help. Oh no. Okay. I don't have 8 HP. Wow. 
I fucked up. I fucked up. Oh, yeah, what? Yep, yep, yep. That's on me. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep, that's on me. You're moving so clean. You can't say that after juking my alt and one hitting me. You are not allowed to say that after juking my ult and one hitting me. Don't un underestimate guardians. Well, I don't think anyone should. They do way too much damage to be underestimated. I said I'm sorry about Terra, not because you're a guardian, but because you're a melee guardian. You're like, you're not like Ymir or anything that can get close and abuse walls and shit. Step in, please. Thank you. Man, I do a lot of damage. Your two just hit me for 1600 damage. Mm. I don't think you can win off of that. Although, Jesus Christ, you are close. You won't backdoor me. Probably. Or maybe he will. Who knows? Yeah, my ult... My ult hit him for 900, too. Bro, his two actually smacked so freaking hard. Oh, that hit me. Okay. That's alright, I have double life steal. Thankfully, I think I win here, because if I didn't, I'd probably lose here. GG, my man. Jesus, close game. Jesus, close game, Raydil. Well played. My goodness. <laughs> no defense, you trolled? No, I, I was doing... I was showing off my favorite items, okay? I wasn't trolling. I was showing off... My favorite items. Showing off my favorite items. Not trolling. Not trolling. I played seriously. I just built a little weird. It's fine. Anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, that second game was actually kind of pog. So. Yeah. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time guys. Peace.